What's up, what's up? This is Diva Desilus coming at you live from Las Vegas. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's up, everyone? I hope everyone is doing well. Today, I'm going to come at you with a lock hairstyle of the day tutorial. Right now, I have a braid out. I've been rocking this braid out for about a week. So before I wash my locks, I'm going to um, rock a updo. And I want to show you guys how I do this updo from beginning to end. So first what I do is, as you saw previously, I shake my locks and then I proceed to brush them with a bristle brush that has two sides to it. One side is soft, the other side is hard. I use the hard side to brush my locks since my locks are mature. And I really want to get in there. I want to brush the very ends really good. I want to brush the top, the back. I really want to get all my locks because you never know where lint where will appear. And since I have a lint problem, I became very used to lock brushing. And I tend, now I really am liking it. Some people do it at night. I do it in the morning because I tend to forget about brushing my locks at night but I do it before I apply any type of water or oil to my locks or before I wash them that's when I lock brush my hair and it also seems to make my locks a little bit softer I don't know so I really like this part of my routine and as you guys can see I need to palm bro who needs to retwist Yes, I haven't decided whether I'm going to latch hook my locks or palm roll it. Most likely I'm going to latch hook it because I haven't did that in a while. Now I'm taking the soft side of the brush and I'm going to brush down my shaved side. I'm going to brush down the side and the back and it also helps stimulate my scalp which I really like. Now I'm going to spritz my locks with some rose water. You can use rose water, lavender water, or just regular distilled water. Just make sure they are moist so when you style them, you don't have to worry about breakage or anything like that. So I want to make sure I get all my locks, so I'm making sure that I spritz all over. Now I'm going to bring my locks towards the front to get it prepped for the updo that I'm about to do. So bring all the locks to the front. And I'm going to turn around to the back so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do from this point is from each side of my head, I'm going to grab a bunch of locks. And make sure you keep some of those locks in the middle down. And I'm going to make a loose knot right here. Just a very loose knot, nothing really tight. Then I'm going to take the ends of those of that knot, the locks there, and I'm going to hold it down while I make another loose knot by grabbing a bunch of hair or a bunch of locks from each side of my head. I'm going to do this about, I think approximately four times. Now don't worry, if some locks fall out, that's okay because you can most definitely take those locks that fell out and just tuck it in the knot that you made, just like what I did there. I know I got a little one <laughs> straggly lock right there all by itself, but I'm going to get to that later. And I'm just going to proceed to make some more knots. I'm going to make approximately four. I just want to make sure that I have enough knots to the very top of my head. And it doesn't matter if it's sloppy at this point because at the e towards the end, you're going to make sure that all the loose knots locks that you have is in the knots and you're going to make sure that the style is shaped. Now I'm going to turn around to the front and I'm going to still continue to make some knots towards the front. I think so far I have approximately three or two. So I'm holding down the ends. You see how I'm holding down the ends of those locks and then I grab some from each side and then I make another knot. And right here is where I make a little mistake and I have to start over and do it again. Since this hairstyle is fairly quick, I don't mind starting over again. It, it takes approximately seven minutes to do the hairstyle, really not that, that long. So right now I'm going to make one more knot. 
holding down the ends in the middle and I'm going to grab some from the side and then make a loose knot. And see my hair isn't tight or anything, it's really loose. That's why I really like this updo. Not only does it show off uh, my shaved hairstyle, it keeps the hair off my back. Now what I'm going to do with the front to get the hair out of the front, very front of my face, I'm going to make a little pompadour by taking those locks and tucking them into the knot. I'm going to leave a little bit of lock out because I really like bangs. And since my hair is long now, I don't want it in my face where I can't see. So I keep the bang on the side. And I'm still going to tuck a lot of the loose locks that I see just, just to shape the hairstyle. And to make it neat, because I really, even though I let my new grow grow a lot, and I do like to have my hair neat. So I don't think new growth makes your hair sloppy. I just think that if you style it and maintain it, it does remain neat. So what I'm doing right here is I'm still tucking in the loose locks. I'm also looking at my mirror to make sure that I get all the loose locks in the knots there and you don't have to just use the front one you can use the ones that you have in the back that you made too so it looks like this hairstyle is about finished I'm just basically touching it up and I also have some loose hairs too so I'm tucking that in also so here's the front view And then I tuck in that little bit of hair right there. <laughs> so this hairstyle is finished and I like it. But check it out from the side. That's my side view. And that's the back. And let me show you the other side. Yes, this hairstyle is hot. I'm totally loving it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.